Hello there, welcome to the clinic. So we have some important tests to try on you tonight. Just going to find you on the system. Open your file. And the system is going to generate a set of tests, a random order. So it's saying the first one is the colour identification with the little Minecraft palette here. So have a look at the colours there. Please select which one you think is Mystic Fog. Mystic Fog is first. Your second colour is conjunctival redness. Conjunctival redness. And if you are done, the third colour is bleached emerald. Bleached emerald. And finally, I'm looking for Greek sands. Greek sands. Okay, a couple more seconds. And we're done. Some mystic fog. response to conjunctival redness bleached emerald and greek sands so those are all recorded thank you second is a contrast test so we have a wheel here, sort of like a clock face. Next to each number is a shape or object starting at 1. And as far as you can, tell me which shape or object is next to each number, please. Try the next one, please. I'm going to give you five more seconds. And that's completed. So not quite to the end, unfortunately. some stereopsis test. So I'm going to ask you to pop these 3D spectacles on. I'll leave them there for you. And I'll prepare the test. animals do you think comes out of the page? Select one and on row B and for row C which animal appears to come out of the page?
Okay, let's have a look at the word circles. Starting at number one. Which one of those four circles comes out of the page? Move along to two and three, if possible. Okay, four, five, and six. Okay, and I'll put the bottom three on there. Again, okay, just selecting the circles that you think are popping out of the page. Five more seconds. Thank you very much. Animals I mean word circles. Okay, now this is more along the lines of Intuition. I'm going to throw this in randomly. A deck of cards here. I'm going to give them another shuffle. I'm going to select a card from the deck. Can you tell me? Which card do you think I'm holding up here? It's the Five of Hearts. Okay, next selection. the four of diamonds let me select another for you Three of clubs. So, not quite as psychic as I thought, but at least we had a go. So three presented. system is asking us to try another stereopsis test. No spectacles required. I'm going to show you a perspex plate. Each one has four squares and on one of the squares is a punched out circle. On which square can you see a punched out circle? Just guess if you're not sure. And there please. I want to give you a clear background. Okay, 
let's just present the middle difficulty set. That was the easy set. Okay, same thing. This is actually on a thinner perspex plate. rotated it there for the next guess. And one more go please. Any luck? much about that. Certainly not an easy test. So that was the Frisbee Stereopsis test. The easy and medium plates. Three on each. childhood. I'm just going to use this device to present some magic eye images. I want you to have a look at each one that I show you and try and determine what you think the image is. Are you ready? Here is your first one. the answers at the end. Okay, there is number two, second magic eye. Five more seconds. Your answer. Cause number two is number three. Six in total. Three, number four here.
Möglichkeit an die Anzahl. to watch the reflections there. Okay, a couple more seconds. And finally number six. This one is called Chocolate Goodness. section. Not sure if that brought back any nostalgia. Right, so I have all your responses. So for the answers, number one was a skull and crossbar. Number two was simply a rectangle. Number three was a human face. Number four, it was sort of like a camel. Number five, there was another face. And number six was a collection of circles. Thank you for that. Now the system is asking us to check near vision using the little budgie stick here. We're going to do the tumbling E test where you have to point which way the E is facing up, down, left or right. Looking there. Okay, work your way down the chart telling me. And then just tell me when you're finished. Okay, we'll switch to the letter chart. This distance, read down the chart as far as possible. Please locate the snake for me. Okay, and there's also a scorpion for you to find. Snake, scorpion, and then I'm going to ask you to try and find the woodpecker. Snake, scorpion and woodpecker, please. Okay, okay, just five more seconds. Yep, 
I agree, that is difficult. Okay, we have one final test. Which is the third stereopsis one. This one I'm going to ask you to place on the red green glasses please. I'll leave them there. And let me have a look at this test. Okay, first of all, I'm going to ask you to try and find these shapes on this page, please. Just point to where you think they are. Okay, don't worry. Okay, there is a picture of a slice of cake, or Pac-Man, if you like, and he's facing that way. So similar to the tumbling E test, we determine each tile where the Pac-Man is facing up, down, left or right. Okay, one final page. Let's see how you're doing here. That concludes the assessment. Not too good, I'm afraid. But I certainly wasn't expecting a pass. So I'll record those final responses. Okay, that's everything. Thank you for coming in, and I'll see you next time.